I've been seeing a lot of black people who are, you know, sharing their encounters with racism via, you know, microaggressions or overt racism. And it's been happening to help white America understand what racism is and the depths of it. And, you know, I've, I've even had to do it myself. So my, my question is, is it fair that that black Americans are being asked to explain to their friends, family, coworkers, and how to talk about racism and, and what the solutions are. And is there a point where, where black people should have to, should stop having to relive those traumas in order to, you know, enlighten people who don't understand? So that's, it's a difficult thing to say because a lot of times I don't think that white people are aware of the harm that they cause and sometimes the, but not the things that they see as benign are really harmful to the people who they inflict that harm upon. Um, so, so I liken it to this, right? So I have a niece. And one of the games that we used to play, well, not a game, but one of the things we used to do since she was a kid, right, was he used to punch me in the stomach and I would bend over and act as if it would hurt and like fall out. And she, it would just make her laugh because she knew it didn't hurt me. But as she got older, when she would do it, it would hurt, hurt me. But I had to explain to her, oh yeah, it really hurts now. Like we can't stop it now. It is not a pun. She, there's no way that she would know that it was hurting me unless I communicated that fact to her because it's something that she grown up essentially doing, right? right. But it's on, upon her that when I say it hurts to stop, she can't say like white America has been doing or they sometimes do. Like, ah, oh, man, that's nothing. It doesn't hurt you. And I'm telling you that it hurts, right? So they right. can't. So in the same way, it's we we have to communicate the harm that white people like. Sometimes, like I don't even like to use the word microaggression because I don't think like that racism comes in sizes or flavors. Right. Like you know, this is the light. Uh, this is racism light, and this is the you know the more uh, spicy form of racism. Now it's just racism, right? Um, it's not ma micro or macro aggressions. All aggressions are just aggressions. But I also don't think that black people can solve racism. We didn't create it. We don't perpetuate it. And it's not upon us to solve it. It's not like, um, like if you get sick that you can solve the, the, the thing that afflicts you by just talking to the germs, right? It's upon, you have to kill the germ, which is white supremacy. And again, it's not upon black people to cure white people's germs. Like we can't, we can't stop white people from being racist. All we can do is say, hey, you're being racist. And it's upon white people to accept that as fact and then do something about it. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.